Welcome back to App TV. I'm Gary Steves. Today, we'll be reviewing an app that allows people with visual or physical restrictions to type in almost any app. Join me, Teja Custodi, and me, Gary Steves, for another episode of App TV. Keeble is an accessible keyboard app for iOS with some pretty unique features. It has access features for people with motor challenges, it has audible feedback settings, and is customizable for individuals. You can choose between 11 languages, there's self-learning prediction, and you can speed up your typing by choosing words from a phrase bank. I'm using my iPhone with Voice Over Enable to set up the Keeble app, and here's how we do it. The first thing you need to do after downloading your Keeble app is open Settings, tap on the General option, and double tap to open it. Scroll down to your keyboard, and double tap to open that. First, go to the top and select Keyboards. Double tap to open. Then go to Add New Keyboard below your installed keyboards. Double tap to open. Then go to your Keyboard keyboard below Third Party Keyboards and double tap to open that. Here you can choose the languages. I'll select English Canada. Then you double tap to toggle it on. Then you tap the Done button and then double tap. Back in the Keyboard section, select the Keyboard keyboard which you just installed and double tap to open. Then select Allow Full Access and double tap to enable. A pop-up will appear asking for full access. Tap the Allow button in the bottom right-hand corner of the pop-up, double tap to allow. Now let's go ahead and open the Keyboard app. At the top of the screen is your keyboard settings. Below that is the Test Your Settings tab option. You can tap on that to select it, double tap to open, and there you'll be able to see what your keyboard is going to look like. Back on the main screen of the app, select Keyboard Settings at the top of the screen and double tap to open. Here you can adjust your keyboard. The first option is the Theme option. This is where you adjust the color of the keyboard in case you require higher contrast. The third option down in the Keyboard Settings is Layout. Double tap to open. Here you can select the layout of your keyboard, say from a QWERTY keyboard to an ABC keyboard. Back in the Keyboard Settings screen, you can adjust many different things here, like word prediction and suggestion order. Scrolling down, you can find the Alternative Access option. This allows users to customize how their keys are selected. You can select Dwell or Release. This can be really handy for somebody who has difficulty putting their finger on the letter they want in their first attempt. They can slide their finger around. When they hear the letter they want to input, they release it and that letter is selected. Scrolling down further, you'll find the Audible Feedback button. Double tap to toggle it on for verbal cues. Using the Keyboard keyboard is easy. Just open the app that you want to use. We'll use the Notes app on my iPhone. To access the Keyboard keyboard, go to the bottom of your iOS keyboard to the globe icon, which is just to the left of the microphone. Double tap to switch keyboards. If you have multiple keyboards installed, keep doing this until you come to your Keyboard keyboard. Well, that's it. Your Keyboard keyboard is ready to go. It's available for iOS devices for $34.99. It's a great option for people with physical limitations, fine motor challenges, or vision restrictions. For more app TV how-tos and tips, go to ami.ca slash app TV.